Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 is probably the worst rated video games of all time. Or at least one of the worst rated video games of all time. It was rushed, unpolished, covered in glitches. So why do I love it? Why am I making the claim that Sonic 06 is a good Sonic game? Well, let me break it down to you. Over the past week, I've been asking my followers on Instagram and Twitter what exactly makes a Sonic game good, and I got back many responses. Some flooded to my DM even trying to expound upon their answer. Many of the answers to that question were the same, and they fell in line between them saying what made a good Sonic game was a good story, a multitude of playable characters, character development good music, long levels, challenging boss fights, and good voice acting. I mean, the list goes on, but I'm going to narrow it down to just three. The three areas I want to focus on are, one, playable characters, because Sonic is known for having a lot of characters in the series. Two, the story, because nobody wants a dull, predictable plot. And three, the music, because Sonic has always been known for his music. The first thing I'm going to dive in on is the playable characters portion. Now, there are three stories in Sonic 06, Sonic, Silver, and Shadow. Each individual story had three playable characters. When you pick Sonic Story, the team was Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. When you pick Silver Story, the team was Silver, Amy, and Blaze. When you pick Shadow Story, the team was Shadow, Rouge, and Omega. The game in total had 9 playable characters, so I think it's safe to say Sonic 06 wins the category of having playable characters. The second thing I'd like to discuss is the story. Well, number one, there are three stories. Four if you count the end of the world story, but it introduced a new character in a cool way by making him have a rivalry with the main character. You bring back familiar faces for reasons that make sense, Shadow. And finally, you kill the main character, Sonic, but wait, he's not dead. They gave him a one-up, and he's back alive in supersonic form. Oh wait, you also introduced a villain who could solo the entire universe. Sorry, but this story is actually very good. I am forever. I am invincible. The last thing I'm going to touch up on is the music. And music in all Sonic games is always phenomenal to say the least but sonic 06 sonic 06 people even claim that sonic 06 the best thing that came out of that game was the music and i'm not even going to go into full detail on this one but that should tell you enough as is so i listed some points and i came up with one more thing and it's that the levels were repeats between the characters but they were far from the same the game wasn't repetitive, nor predictable. So, what do you think? Do you agree with my points? Do you disagree with my points? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that post uh, notifications bell for more. Sonicsta, out.